Hey everybody, it's Peter Lindstrom from the Clean Energy Resource Teams. So you're in the market for an EV. That's fantastic. The Inflation Reduction Act can help you out in that regards, um, but add some new conditions that you should be aware of. There's been a tax credit for EVs for quite a while, up to $7,500, and that remains the same under the Inflation Reduction Act. However, uh, there uh, was added some new income qualifications as well as some other conditions that you should be aware of. First of all, on the income qualified uh, aspect of this, um, the maximum in income in your household to take advantage of that tax credit is one thousand or excuse me, $150,000 for a single person and $300,000 for uh, a married couple. And the conditions that were added on uh, to take advantage of this tax credit, that EV has to be assembled in North America, number one. Uh, it has to meet certain battery sourcing requirements. Starting in 2024, 40% of that battery must be manufactured in, uh, in America. And uh, that ramps up to 100% um, by 2029. Uh, there are certain pricing requirements. The maximum price for the, uh, an EV uh, car is, um, is $55,000. If it's a pickup truck, an SUV, a van, uh, that goes up to $80,000.